Now, the hallmark to treating septic shock, warm or cold, is fluid administration, fluid resuscitation. And I want to make the distinction here. In EMS uh, verbiage, vernacular that we use, in EMS in the ER, uh, if you ask, geez, did you resuscitate the patient? Uh, that means, did you bring them back to life? They were dead, you resuscitated them, they're alive. Everywhere else in medicine, uh, resuscitation refer refers to IV fluid administration. Where they adequately resuscitated means, did they receive adequate IV fluids, not did we bring them back to life. Uh, so if you're talking to someone about a patient in septic shock, make sure we're talking about the same stuff. Now then, refractory to fluid management, right? IV fluids, we gave them their IV fluids, and they're still in a shock state, we gotta think about what drugs are we gonna use now to treat warm versus cold. Warm septic shock, peripheral vasodilation, high cardiac output. So we want to administer a drug, refractory to IV fluids, that's going to have an impact on that vasculature. Norepinephrine will be a great choice. Potent vasoconstrictor. Cold septic shock, we already have vasoconstriction, but we don't have that output. So in this case, we may want to look at more of an inotropic drug. Follow your local septic shock protocols, but you need to be thinking about this, is it warm or cold? Post uh, IV fluid resuscitation, if we need to go to drugs, which is the best drug to pick? I'm Mark, this has been just a quick down and dirty explanation of warm versus cold septic shock. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.